Hey guys, in this episode, I want to share with you guys the number one reason why artists fail. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Let's go. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries, and become a top 40 Billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply, and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. So hey, I'm literally in line to Tim Hortons to get a tea. It's raining out, and sorry if my voice sounds a little bit jacked, but I was watching that movie La La Land, and it's such a good movie, such a good music video, or not music video, just good movie, and it's filmed in California, which is my favorite place in the whole wide world. It's in Hollywood. It's so inspiring artwork-wise. You got this one kind of broke jazz guy, and uh, who's, I forget the name of the actor in it, but anyways, he's, he's really good. He's in the movie The Notebook. I don't know who he is girls like him but uh anyways he's trying to be a a jazz guy and he's you know broke trying to figure it out and you know one lesson from that is is he has to play um piano for this restaurant and he's arguing with the guy that's hired him saying hey man can i play some of my own stuff too like just some of my jazz stuff he's like no man stick to the list stick to the christmas list only play the christmas songs that i give you but of course the guy doesn't you know, stick to that and he fails. And so that's one reason why a lot of artists fail is because they're not able to work with other people. Okay. They're, they're ignorant, they're haughty. They think they're better than everybody else. And so, you know, that didn't work out very well. So he continued to struggle for a really long time. And if you watch the movie, you'll notice he ends up getting hired to do a gig for somebody else because he can't make it on his own. And he ends up going playing for music that he doesn't even really believe in. Okay. And then you got his girlfriend. And again, I can't remember the name of these actors that are like really famous, but she's a really dope actor and she's a struggling artist. But as far as an actor. And so you see her in the movie taking all this time to write her script and she decides to do her own playwright. All right. And she's going to do her own performance. It's a solo performance. She books the club and all this stuff and, and is working towards this thing. And this is what a lot of artists do, man. We, we, we spend all this money working towards this album, this one big event, the CD release party. And in the movie, she, she does all this. She even fights with her boyfriend over it and all this stuff. And, and, and the day finally comes and she does her thing and not that many people show up and she is just shattered just totally shattered discouraged and as the boyfriend actually finally comes after the show's over and she's really discouraged just putting stuff in her car and what's so real about this is i have been there man i have been there where you are just walking your car alone and and maybe you do have your girlfriend or your boyfriend with you and it didn't turn out very well not many people came and you are bummed out and you're like you know what screw this I give up. But that is the biggest reason why artists fail because they swing so big once trying to hit a home run out of the gate as opposed to hitting multiple little singles and falling down and failing. They go for this one big home run and just because it doesn't work out, they give up, which is so sad. And let me tell you, I have been there, my friends. I can remember multiple CD release parties that we had, and I wanted there to be thousands of people. I wanted it to be huge. I remember going to um, signings, like in-store signings, and there being like nobody there, and it just being so discouraging. And I wanted to give up so many times. And, you know, I was alone with my girl just encouraging me, you know, and, and I'm feeling bummed out at the time. But I'm so glad I didn't give up. So I was um, in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and it was for my, I'm pretty sure it was for my CD release party for my album, Glory. It was a CD release show. And I'm telling you, like, barely anybody showed up. And I remember at the CD, the CD signing at the store, the guy or the owner of the store wasn't even there. Or there was, like, two people, like, nobody came for the CD release um, announcement. And I remember I was so bummed, man, and so discouraged. And this is because I wasn't marketed properly, okay? Because this ended up being one of my biggest records ever. But I wanted you to know, like, not only um, was it my CD release party, I think it was, like, during my birthday, too. And I wasn't even with my wife, and I was just in a small little town, like Hot Springs, Arkansas. Like, really? Like, come on. 
and um, and I remember it just being really discouraging and not not doing very well. And I had some great songs. Like, these songs were like really good songs. What my biggest song is on here, Impossible, and Bounce, which has gotten so much TV and film. But the label didn't believe in me. They didn't know what the heck they had. And anyways, long story short, you know EMI Japan picked up this record because the label I had signed with had distribution with EMI and it ended up blowing up in Japan and, and we were selling tens of thousands of records there a week and what's crazy is I don't know how many years it was later from that CD signing in Arkansas but then one day I find myself in Tower Records in Japan signing albums and selling out club shows for you know I don't know how many people okay and I'm like a freaking rock star in a completely other different world, you know. And so it just goes to show you why you can't give up, man. Like, that, you better believe I wanted to quit. You better believe I wanted to say, screw this, man. This ain't working. I ain't giving up. But had I known, I'd blown up in Japan, like, later on. And so <laughs> this is where it takes integrity. This is where it takes character. This is where it takes resilience. But a lot of artists, they go for they just go all in and they have these big dreams and 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 i want you to have big dreams and and honestly i wish i i dreamed even bigger right now i sometimes feel like i don't dream big enough anymore and and so i'm speaking to myself here at the same time but you dream so big and it doesn't go the way you want and then you say well well forget it then but you don't understand my friend that's part of the journey like failure is part of the journey with this and um you got to push through it you got to get back up and swing again like this is a stepping stone to make you better to keep building relationships sometimes you just don't have the right team maybe you don't <coughs> excuse me maybe you don't have the right marketing skills i didn't have the right marketing skills back then but i do now and I know what to do with a hit song. And that's why I want you to join Fanbase U so you're not alone. So when you go through a time like I just went through and talked about when I was going through hell and just like, man, like, forget this. Like, oh my gosh, like, you know, and it was hot and it was sweaty and like, you know, preparing, setting up. Like any real musician or artist knows how much work goes into a show and promoting it and sound checking and getting there only to be totally disappointed. Okay, it's 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 brutal. I remember another Scott Stapp show. Scott Stapp's the uh, lead singer of. Um, oh my gosh, my mind's blanking right now. Um, Can you take me higher? Creed, that's who it is. So, anyways, I got a tour with him, and that was a great tour. But I remember, you know, why I, I don't love touring as much anymore. And I'll give you a perfect example: is we drove like I don't know. Let's just say it was four or five hours to get to this show in New Jersey. We sound check and do all this stuff, get ready, and you know, you know, drive all this stuff, and then our sound check is cut short. We don't sound properly. I invited my radio promoter there to the show, and he was the one who's like, "Yeah, dude, it's a bummer. You didn't, you couldn't really hear you, man. I wish you had a better sound tech, or they gave you more time for sound check." And how frustrating is that? Because that was like a buy-on opportunity, I think, for that one. And um, yeah, we got in front of fans, but I wasn't displayed right. And it's like, I'm paying all this money to be on this tour, get the promo, invite my radio guy out. I'm trying to win Scott's fans over. And, you know, for my 30 minutes of glory, we don't even sound properly. Like, I don't even get to promote my songs the way I want to, you know? And so, what a bummer, you know? And so, that's why I love online, because I can take my music video that is cut amazingly, it sounds amazing, and I can go and put it in front of all the Scott Stapp's fans or whoever's bloody fans I freaking want online without having to drive six hours to the show, figure out hotel rooms, deal with other musicians' attitudes and this and that and all the other junk that goes along with it and build a massive fan base online you know that's what it's about baby you better believe that's what it's about that's why i was selling thousands of albums constantly while i'm freaking sleeping and so that's what i want for you man i want you building your email list i want to show you how to do that so please go to fanbase university sign up get the training man let me show you how to build this thing fanbaseuniversity.com we send you two books in the mail my book fighter that shares a lot of these stories you also get um, the music marketing and promotions guide and you also get a fighter ring because my friend you need 
to keep fighting. I really hope this inspired you today. I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. So if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fanbase University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music out there. Also, you get access to exclusive training, you get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, FanbaseUniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.